Hello everybody, it's Christopher from Cars Unlocked. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Android Auto to your car and your cell phone. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I have a lot of people asking me questions how to connect the Android Auto when I display it in my vehicle reviews. So I'm gonna show you now so you can refer to this if you need help. I'm also gonna be doing the Apple CarPlay after this one, so stay tuned for that. But let's get started. The Android Auto allows you to use the Google Play Assistant so you can connect things like navigation apps, you can connect your text messaging, make calls and answer calls, and use your Bluetooth audio streaming right from your Android phone on the screen of your vehicle. So right now I'm in a 2018 Nissan Altima and the first thing I need to do is plug my phone in to the USB. So I can just plug in there and instantly the Android Auto pops up. It asked me to grant permissions to use Android Auto it granted permission to manage my calls, answer my call logs, access my location, my text messages, my calendar, and my recorded audio. So I'm just gonna hit allow through all those prompts. Now, if you didn't already download the Android Auto app from the Google Play Store, um, don't let me forget that you need to do that first. So I already downloaded it and that's why it automatically popped up and asked me for the permissions. So I do need to allow notification access. This just gives the Android Auto permission to notify me when I get a text message or a Facebook message or something like that. Here it's asking, do I want to use the Google Play Assistant with Android Auto? So at the bottom, I'm going to hit continue. And now we're getting started. So it's all connected to my phone. Don't forget, you obviously have to download the app from the Google Play Store, which I'll put a link in the description below for you to go right to that. Uh, but now it says to start, select Android Auto on your car screen. So let's get the phone out of the way and get to this here. So this one is equipped with Android Auto. It's asking me, would you like to use Android Auto with this device because I plugged my phone in. I can hit don't ask anymore if I want to use the same answer, but I'm gonna hit yes here. And there you can see my Android Auto pops up. Because this is my first time, there is a little how to's, but that's why you have me. I'm gonna skip that and I'm gonna show you all the how to's. So there are different things like um, the Google Assistant, so you can use it just like your Google Home where you would say, okay, Google, and it would get the mic going. Call Collins Nissan. Calling Collins Nissan Mobile. So there you can see I can use it to make calls. You can use it to play music, but let's start with the navigation here. The navigation is just like the Google Maps on your phone, um, where you see it comes up very, very similar. There's some recent addresses on the left here. Um, and here's our location here. So um, very, very large um, screen. You can toggle it around. You can zoom in and out with the buttons. You can also pinch to zoom is another big easy thing when you're driving, uh, but you can see the full display there. It works the same way. You can either put in um, a voice command or you can punch it right into your Google search here and search destinations. If I wanna go to um, Toronto, there it comes up, Toronto, Ontario. And now I see I have an hour and 16 minutes. Just like the navigation on your phone, it's pretty straightforward. Here's the route I need to go. It will notify me of any traffic updates. So it's very convenient to use the navigation. Um, this will help so you don't have to go up to those high-end car models where they charge you an arm and a leg to get navigation put in the car. You have it right on your phone. It's important to note that this type of navigation, just like if you were driving with your cell phone, it would use your data. So it's gonna use your data as you drive to download the maps. Let's get to the phone. So here are my shortcuts, my uh, most recent calls. I can make calls easily, answer calls. You can call people very, very quickly. Um, if I hit the phone button there, here's my contacts, dial a number manually, my missed calls, my voicemails. So it's very easy to call. Look, it shows a full phone screen. Or I can just go right into my contacts here. And there I can dial, go through the names and dial. 
The main screen basically shows my notification. So there's the GPS notification I just put in. My missed messages is above, my weather, my missed calls and recent calls is all in here. It syncs with my WhatsApp. That's the main screen. The music is very nice. See, it has all my music playing apps. So it shows my Amazon music, my Google Play music, my Podbean. Those are the only three, but if you have other music apps, it will show you there. Let's go into the Google Play music. So here's my first song. It will ask me if I want to play Queen. And here I can play Queen. So pretty easy to play music right from my phone, stream it wirelessly. And that is the back button that will allow me to return to the regular infotainment system. So that's just a quick setup and walkthrough of the Android Auto. If you have any questions about the Android Auto, feel free to ask me. I'm gonna do the Apple CarPlay, so you Apple fans, stay tuned for that. Um, but stay tuned and I'll put that in. Please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.